Today we are here at the ISRA Illinois State Rifle Association range and we're inside with Richard and Mandy and this is part of the instruction team and two of the members that make this facility run. After all, it's mostly volunteers, right? It is. It is. And today we're talking about getting ready for the hunting season, right? Before we even touch a firearm, there's a few things we need to go over every year, right? Of course, so we have a pump action shotgun here. So we just wanna make sure that we're checking the breech area, we're checking all of the metal for any kind of micro fractures. Also make sure that the trigger is working correctly. Any moving parts are moving the way that they're supposed to. The biggest thing is make sure that you are clearing obstructions if there is anything inside the barrel. There's all kinds of instructions, obstructions that can be in a barrel. I own a shotgun that was, uh, the previous owner decided he would show that spider inside his barrel and shoot the spider web out of the barrel and it blew the shotgun up. So any small obstruction in a barrel will cause it to rupture. Same thing as the shotgun, now we have a rifle here, uh, bolt action. So same thing, you wanna make sure that when you're bringing it out for the first time that you're giving it a good thorough check over, you are cleaning it. You wanna actually take your bolt all the way out, make sure that you're inspecting that. Make sure that the bolt is working, make sure that the action is working correctly. Whether it's a shotgun or a rifle, you wanna make sure that you're actually sighting it in with the ammunition you're gonna be using so that you get the same accuracy as you'll get when you're hunting. And while one more thing while hunting is make sure of your target and what is beyond. Because if you miss your target, then the, uh, that bullet or that rifle slug has to go someplace. So you wanna make sure everything behind that is clear. So whenever walking with the rifle or with your shotgun, you wanna make sure that your finger is nowhere near the trigger, like Richard said. Make sure that you keep it nice and high so that it stays as far away from the trigger as possible until your sights are lined up and you've actually made the conscious decision to shoot. All right, hey, I wanna thank you guys for making sure these firearms are safe for us to operate. I think it's now time to get a scope on one of these rifles and go sight it in on the range. We are here with competitive shooter Larry Lawless. So every year at this range, just before hunting season, we have a sight in period where you can come out here. We will be here to help you sight your rifle in and give you hints on maybe adjusting the scope or whatever. The basic sight in for a rifle is you go over to the 100 yard line. Okay. Um, you set up a 50 yard target with an orange or green or whatever color dot you want in the center. Sure. Now we need to find out in relationship to where is the bore of this rifle compared to where the scope is? Mm -hmm. So what we would do is we would come over here with this rifle, we would take the bolt out, you'd get down behind the rifle and you would look straight through the bore of the rifle and you would move your front rest up and down until the bore of the rifle perfectly aligns with the dot you put on your target. And you would take the turrets that adjust your scope to that center dot. So once the scope is aligned to where the rifle is pointing, then you would go ahead, you'd put your bolt back in, you would load around, and you would shoot downrange. You should be within six inches of that orange dot when you're doing it at 50 yards. Right. <clears throat> then basically all you do is you realign your rifle, take your turrets, and you turn those to move the scope to the bullet hole. The second shot should be within a half inch of center. All right. I think we need to try it out. <laughs> All right then. Hey Larry, it looks like my shots are good, but can you can you see them by chance? Well, we most definitely can see them because uh, we have purchased electronic targets from Silver Mountain in Indiana. And since we've had these, we now can see them on our tablet. And if you'll notice, all of your shots were pretty much centered up. Checked your group, yep. it looks really good and uh, I think you're ready to hunt. All right, now we're taking a break. Throw this back in, right? Yes. No, always. We just got back from quite a great time down at the range, you know, learned how to sight in, uh, sight on a rifle, and what I really learned is how much this facility has to offer. You know, my first question is, how long has this been here and how many members do you got here? So we're coming up on 98 years right now. 
And uh, we have 236 firing positions, including archery, uh, air gun, high power rifle, pistol, combat pistol. So we offer uh, actually 18 different kinds of shooting leagues that you can participate in. We offer instruction in all those leagues. And Manny, what's your favorite part of the range itself? Honestly, it's everything about this range is kind of fantastic. Number one, it's owned by the members, so the members are the ones that really care for the range, volunteer at the range, put the work time in for the range. We're the ones that actually are out here volunteering at the different events. It really is, it's by the members for the members. That's probably my favorite part about it is that we are completely volunteer run. Someone was interested in joining ISRA and joining the range here, how do they do that? Well, you can go on our website. You can join right on the website, www.isra.org. Or if you're near the range and you want to join, you can come out here and join right here. Just stop on by. Just stop on by. Well, hey, I want to thank everyone at the ISRA range today. And everyone, if you are looking for a quiet but fully, fully stocked and comprehensive range, come down and check out the Illinois State Rifle Association.